all right guys time for part two so we're about to do some unboxing of some things we've already went over a lot of this stuff in part one so i am opening what they call a threader it is to help you thread your yarn through i wish i would have got a close-up because that would have been better and now I'm opening my very first package that I ever bought for my tufting journey, which was the primary tufting cloth. It, I think I got a yard or two. I can't really remember. I needed to look at it, but I was so excited because it was the very first purchase. I didn't buy the gun first. I hadn't bought any yarn. This was my very first purchase. And I was just very excited about opening it finally because it came in about a month earlier than any of the other materials that I got. So I was just really happy that I had got that. And then as we go along, I am now opening the duckbill scissors in my projector. So the duckbill scissors are shaped a little weirder than regular scissors. And I have an example there. So they help you cut the yarn at a certain angle that helps you get some pretty good detailing in and you can go flat on the surface without it like really being an issue. And then I got a projector. It was one off of Amazon. Um, I wanna say it was about 30 or $40. It really wasn't that expensive. It came with a remote, a HDMI cable. Uh, I can't even remember what kind of cable the other type of cable is, but it's the one with the red, yellow, and white um, <laughs> connection. Um, and I was really excited. Now, don't mind me, because I don't know how to use this tripod stand that it came with. So I was just kind of rambling with it and about dropped the whole thing. But I finally got it to get it together. But I'm really excited about this purchase now. Yeah, I do happy dances when I'm happy, y'all. So now we are getting into the main event, the thing that makes this all worthwhile, the main component of beginning your tough thing. So let's just get into the packaging. It comes with all this little stuff. So I get 15% off of a yarn purchase. I haven't used it yet. I will use that soon. I've got practice yarn from Walmart. Um, and then that was just the ship or handle. But the packaging is amazing. They definitely take their time when they're packaging and it's just quality and I absolutely love it. So I bought the Cut Pile Tufting Gun. Um, and the reason why I bought the cut, cut Pile versus the Loop Pile is because after watching several videos and just reading the reviews, I believe the Cut Pile is more beginner friendly when you're starting off. I will invest in a loop pile soon just because the way yarn looks with a blunt cut versus a loop is different. So, but I was so excited to finally open it and see what it looks like. I'm in the background talking to my son about everything and he's just like, mom, you're way too excited. Um, it came with extra parts an extra pair of scissors, um, some of the tools, uh, like the Allen wrenches that you need if you ever have to do um, some adjustments to the height um, of the pile gun or just need to fix the gun if anything malfunctions. Now I will go into another video about how I messed up on my second or third project and I was frustrated, but we'll get into that in another video. Um, this is the little handle to help you steer, <laughs> steer. Well, I guess you can say steer the gun in the right direction when you're doing it. Um, the gun is pretty heavy, guys, so do hold it with two hands. Um, and again, happy dancing because I'm a weirdo, but it's okay. I'm really excited. And this is just the end of the video because I was just really excited about it. I'm a weirdo. Uh, and my son is talking about me in the background. But thank you guys. Just continue to watch me as I continue this stuffing journey. Bye.